Failure mode, effects and criticality analysis is an extension of failure mode and effects analysis. FMEA is a bottom-up, inductive analytical method which may be performed at either the functional or piece part level. FMECA extends FMEA by including a criticality analysis, which is used to chart the probability of failure modes against the severity of their consequences. The result highlights failure modes with relatively high probability and severity of consequences, allowing remedial effort to be directed where it will produce the greatest value. FMECA tends to be preferred over FMEA in space in North Atlantic Treaty Organization military applications, while various forms of FMEA predominate in other industries. History FMECA was originally developed in the 1940s by the U.S. military, which published Mila Euro par Euro 1629 in 1949. By the early 1960s, contractors for the U.S. National Aeronautics and Space Administration were using variations of FMECA under a variety of names. In 1966 NASA released its FMECA procedure for use on the Apollo program. FMECA was subsequently used on other NASA programs including Viking, Voyager, Magellan, and Galileo. Possibly because Mila Euro par Euro 1629 was replaced by Mila Euro STDA Euro 1629 in 1974, development of FMECA is sometimes incorrectly attributed to NASA. At the same time as the space program developments, use of FMEA and FMECA was already spreading to civil aviation. In 1967 the Society for Automotive Engineers released the first civil publication to address FMECA. The civil aviation industry now tends to use a combination of FMEA and fault tree analysis in accordance with SAARP 4761 instead of FMECA. Though some helicopter manufacturers continue to use FMECA for civil rotorcraft, Ford Motor Company began using FMEA in the 1970s after problems experienced with its Pinto model, and by the 1980s FMEA was gaining broad use in the automotive industry. In Europe, the International Electrotechnical Commission published IEC 812 in 1985, addressing both FMEA and FMECA for general use. The British Standards Institute published BS 5760 a Euro 5 in 1991 for the same purpose. In 1980, Mila Euro STDA Euro 1629A replaced both Mila Euro STDA Euro 1629 and the 1977 aeronautical FMECA standard Mila Euro STDA Euro 2070. Mila Euro STDA Euro 1629A was cancelled without replacement in 1998, but nonetheless remains in wide use for military and space applications today. Methodology Slight differences are found between the various FMECA standards. By RACCTAA Euro FMECA, the FMECA analysis procedure typically consists of the following logical steps define the system. Define ground rules and assumptions in order to help drive the design, construct system block diagrams, identify failure modes, analyze failure effects causes, feed results back into design process, classify the failure effects by severity, perform criticality calculations, rank failure mode criticality, determine critical items, feed results back into design process, identify the means of failure detection, isolation and compensation. Perform maintainability analysis, document the analysis, summarize uncorrectable design areas, identify special controls necessary to reduce failure risk, make recommendations, follow up on corrective action implementation effectiveness. FMECA may be performed at the functional or piece part level. Functional FMECA considers the effects of failure at the functional block level, such as a power supply or an amplifier. Peace part FMECA considers the effects of individual component failures, such as resistors, transistors, microcircuits, or valves. A peace part FMECA requires far more effort, but provides the benefit of better estimates of probabilities of occurrence. However, functional FMEAs can be performed much earlier, may help to better structure the complete risk assessment and provide other type of insight in mitigation options. 
the analyses are complementary. The criticality analysis may be quantitative or qualitative, depending on the availability of supporting part failure data. Equals system definition equals, in this step, the major system to be analyzed is defined and partitioned into an indentured hierarchy such as systems, subsystems or equipment, units or subassemblies, and piece parts. Functional descriptions are created for the systems and allocated to the subsystems, covering all operational modes and mission phases. Equals ground rules and assumptions equals, before detailed analysis takes place, ground rules and assumptions are usually defined and agreed to. This might include, for example, standardized mission profile with specific fixed duration mission phases, sources for failure rate and failure mode data, fault detection coverage that system built-in test will realize, whether the analysis will be functional or piece part, criteria to be considered, system for uniquely identifying parts or functions, severity category definitions. Equals block diagrams equals, next. The systems and subsystems are depicted in functional block diagrams. Reliability block diagrams or fault trees are usually constructed at the same time. These diagrams are used to trace information flow at different levels of system hierarchy, identify critical paths and interfaces, and identify the higher level effects of lower level failures. Equals failure mode identification equals, for each piece part or each function covered by the analysis. A complete list of failure modes is developed. For functional FMECA, typical failure modes include untimely operation, failure to operate when required, loss of output, intermittent output, erroneous output, invalid output. For piece part FMECA, failure mode data may be obtained from databases such as RACFMDA Euro 91 or RACFMDA Euro 97. These databases provide not only the failure modes, but also the failure mode ratios. For example, each functional piece part is then listed in matrix form with one row for each failure mode. Because FMECA usually involves very large data sets, a unique identifier must be assigned to each item, and to each failure mode of each item. Equals failure effects analysis equals Failure effects are determined and entered for each row of the FMECA matrix, considering the criteria identified in the ground rules. Effects are separately described for the local, next higher, and end levels. System level effects may include, system failure, degraded operation, system status failure, no immediate effect. The failure effect categories used at various hierarchical levels are tailored by the analyst using engineering judgment. Equals severity classification equals, severity classification is assigned for each failure mode of each unique item and entered on the FMECA matrix, based upon system level consequences. A small set of classifications, usually having 3 to 10 severity levels, is used. For example, when prepared using Miler Euro STDA Euro 1629A. Failure or mishap severity classification normally follows Miler Euro STDA Euro 882. Current FMECA severity categories for U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, NASA and European Space Agency space applications are derived from Miler Euro STDA Euro 882. Equals failure detection methods equals, for each component and failure mode. The ability of the system to detect and report the failure in question is analyzed. One of the following will be entered on each row of the FMECA matrix, normal the system correctly indicates a safe condition to the crew, abnormal, the system correctly indicates a malfunction requiring crew action, incorrect, the system erroneously indicates a safe condition in the event of malfunction, or alerts the crew to a malfunction that does not exist. Equals criticality ranking equals, failure mode criticality assessment may be qualitative or quantitative. For qualitative assessment, a mishap probability code or number is assigned and entered on the matrix. For example, Miler Euro STDA Euro 882 uses five probability levels, the failure mode may then be charted on a criticality matrix using severity code as one axis and probability level code as the other. For quantitative assessment, modal criticality number is calculated for each failure mode of each item, 
and item criticality number is calculated for each item. The criticality numbers are computed using the following values, basic failure rate, failure mode ratio, conditional probability, mission phase duration, the criticality numbers are computed as AND. The basic failure rate is usually fed into the FMECA from a failure rate prediction based on MILA Euro HDBKA Euro 217, PRISM, RIAC 217 Plus, or a similar model. The failure mode ratio may be taken from a database source such as RAC FMDA Euro 97. For functional level FMECA, engineering judgment may be required to assign failure mode ratio. The conditional probability number represents the conditional probability that the failure effect will result in the identified severity classification, given that the failure mode occurs. It represents the analyst's best judgment as to the likelihood that the loss will occur. For graphical analysis, a criticality matrix may be charted using either or on one axis and severity code on the other. Equals critical item failure mode list equals, once the criticality assessment is completed for each failure mode of each item, the FMECA matrix may be sorted by severity and qualitative probability level or quantitative criticality number. This enables the analysis to identify critical items and critical failure modes for which design mitigation is desired. Equals recommendations equals, after performing FMECA, recommendations are made to design to reduce the consequences of critical failures. This may include selecting components with higher reliability, reducing the stress level at which a critical item operates, or adding redundancy or monitoring to the system. Equals maintainability analysis equals, FMECA usually feeds into both maintainability analysis and logistics support analysis, which both require data from the FMECA. Equals FMECA report equals, an FMECA report consists of system description, ground rules and assumptions, conclusions and recommendations, corrective actions to be tracked, and the attached FMECA matrix which may be in spreadsheet, worksheet, or database form. Risk Priority Calculation, RACCTAA Euro FMECA and MILA Euro HDBKA Euro 338 both identify risk priority number calculation as an alternate method to criticality analysis. The RPN is a result of a multiplication of detectability x severity x occurrence. With each on a scale from 1 to 10, the highest RPN is 10x 10x 10 equals 1000. This means that this failure is not detectable by inspection, very severe and the occurrence is almost sure. If the occurrence is very sparse, this would be 1 and the RPN would decrease to 100. So, criticality analysis enables to focus on the highest risks. Advantages and disadvantages, strengths of FMECA include its comprehensiveness, the systematic establishment of relationships between failure causes and effects, and its ability to point out individual failure modes for corrective action in design. Weaknesses include the extensive labor required, the large number of trivial cases considered, and inability to deal with multiple failure scenarios or unplanned cross-system effects such as sneak circuits. According to an FAA research report for commercial space transportation, failure modes, effects, and criticality analysis is an excellent hazard analysis and risk assessment tool, but it suffers from other limitations. This alternative does not consider combined failures or typically include software and human interaction considerations. It also usually provides an optimistic estimate of reliability. Therefore, FMECA should be used in conjunction with other analytical tools when developing reliability estimates. See also Integrated Logistics Support, Risk Assessment, Reliability Engineering, Safety Engineering, System Safety, FMEA, RAMS. Further reading, FMEA and FMECA Examples, FMEA and FMECA, An Overview of Basic Concepts, FMEA Info Center, FMEA and FMECA slash RCM, Integration to SAP EAM. References